If at first you don't succeed, scry, scry again. Only shooting stars break the Hello everybody and welcome to Brawl Stars. I'm Amy the Amazonian and today I'm playing Galadriel of Lothlorien again. This is one of my favorite decks to play in Simic because it's all about scrying, scrying and scrying some more. And it has a lot of really good recent upgrades in Arena. Galadriel is an elf, which means that we have a bunch of other elves that all hang out with her and help her scry her way to victory. The way Galadriel works is whenever you scry, you can choose to reveal the top card of your deck. And if it's a land, it comes into play tapped. Now that's fantastic with landfall triggers like Tireless Provisioner, Tracker, Lotus Cobra, and Nyssa, most of which are elves and snakes and stuff. But it also is really good with the new card Spelunking, which just lets those lands come in untapped. If you want a lot of mana all in one turn, Galadriel's your gal, because you can actually scry lands that scry more lands. If you have, just as an example, a scry reveal Grey Havens, you put it into play and it scries again. And then it could maybe find you Temple of Mystery, which scries again. There's a version of this deck that also runs Snowlands, uh, Snowlands and tries to get the um, Merit Lage token out and also just tons and tons of scries off all your lands entering the battlefield. There's a lot of really wild stuff that can go on that turns into piles of triggers in this deck. Because not only are you ramping, you're ramping one land at a time, which can get really, really annoying. Yes, you're sitting there and you're checking the top card of your deck while your opponent is waiting for you to finish your turn. This is not the deck you play with somebody who wants to have a fun, quick match of magic. You play this deck because you like digging through your entire library and trying to find your out or your big ol' win con. Since we're a Simic ramp deck, we have buffs, levelers, uh, portals, emrakuls, coma. It's honestly your choice of what kind of big, scary spell you want to ramp into, but those are some pretty nice choices for big green and green blue and colorless things that you can get out. So we're going to take Galadriel into the queue and we're gonna scry me a river. Sahili, the sun's brilliance, a brilliant commander that is kind of like a Kiki Jiki, copying creatures and artifacts. But those are temporary copies that go away at the end of the turn. I guess I should say at the beginning of the next end step, they are sacrificed, which is cool. Hey, Sahili. Start with Castle Vantress since it would come in tapped. And we want the Season of Growth out before we play Galadriel so we get an immediate scry if we can to try to ramp. We could also go for like holding up a counter spell for Sahili, but I don't know if they're going to be uh, playing her right away. Ooh, and Lotus Cobra. Also go for that. Snake. Snake good. Snake good early. Guess I'll crack open Mishra's bobble. You want to see what's on top of my deck? For two mana, they play... Sahili. Hi, Sahili. Sahili only has one thing to copy right now, but it's a pretty good thing to copy. I'm going to use this forest to generate an extra mana. And I'm going to attack with Lotus Cobra. Okay, excellent. This will give me a scry next turn. We've got our counter spell held up if they cast something that needs to be countered. They might just use their two mana though for the bobble. Draw an extra card. Ever flowing well. That's going to be more card draw. This is essentially draw two. And eventually it flips over and becomes a weird super clone. It is legendary though, so like you just keep sacrificing the copies of it. Ooh, they're using the bobble to check what's on top of my deck. 
could it be? It's a joint exploration. Nice. All right, we scry. There's a land on top. We reveal it. Lotus Cobra says, ooh, mana. We're going to do blue. The scries as well. More counter spells. Not what I crave. We reveal! It was a land! Awesome! Um, green. And then blue. And then we use this. We kick it, because then we... Oh, wait. I didn't need to kick it. Eh, it doesn't matter. Um, we want to scry two, then draw a card. Yep, that's actually exactly right. Because then we put this in hand, and then we still get to reveal this. So looking at lands, looking at lands, looking at lands. Okay, the one ring. So that was my uh, turn three, four. That was my turn four. And we have seven lands out. Perfect. We, we love it when it works. They have four mana up. Hot diggity, yep. Hot diggity dang. Are we doing the thing? I, I'd say we did the thing. Um, next turn, we can use Primeval Titan to grab two more lands that scry on Enter the Battlefield. Ooh, Foundry Inspector discounts their artifacts. That's some more ramp. Um, and then we can follow up with the Great Henge. This way we're not getting the card draw off it, but we are getting a bunch of scry type stuff. So we're going to grab two scrying lands off Primeval Titan. Grab Grey Havens, and where's... We already played the Temple, right? Yeah, we just got the Temple in, so Zalfram Void. Horonclex, you're not a land. I mean, you're a good card, but you're not a land. Tireless Provisioner, your landfall, not a land! Arcane Signet! Ooh, boy. All this ding dang garbo here. Reveal. Oh, uh, it was a land. It's a Cavern of Souls. We're gonna name E-L-F. Elf? Average Simic deck. Yup, average Simic deck. Play the Henge. I guess we can attack with Galadriel. And, nah, I'll leave the snake. I have enough mana to replay Galadriel next turn. And then she would get more scries off the Season of Growth. Dragon Spark Reactor! Yep, more card draw from Henge if Galadriel dies. Dragon Spark gets bigger, um, or I should say gets more charges as time goes on, but it looks like they see the writing on the wall. We have triple their mana. We're about to get more. We've got a Henge this season and the One Ring. They, they knew about the One Ring. They saw that on top of her deck. Necronomicon! Thank you so much for the three-month resub! Thank you! GG, Saheeli! Mythweaver Hawk! Mono green ramp and ramping through the devastating way of copying your lands. Seriously, a scary card. Mythweaver Pock is a must counter. You can't even kill it on sight. That doesn't deal with the card. Uh, turn one, I'm going to use this Elven Farsight. Uh, I do have a... I do have a creature here, so we will do that. I know, the Henge is great, but I do really need land, so we're going to reveal that. Gives me a Tatiova. Land or Elf means that they will have... Three or maybe more mana next turn. Counter spell is going to be held for another turn. Typically, Pock wants to come down and immediately get use. Settle the wilds. That's going to give them four mana, so it's going to be next turn, most likely, that Pock is coming down. Uh, I am just going to... Ooh. Yeah, we're just going to pass the turn here. Ah, a Scoot Swarm is also well worth countering. Galadriel. Aka and Galadriel get along just so nicely. They get a little scry, throw away Bombadil's song, and we 
reveal. It's a land! Yeah, unless we have our Scoot Swarm, dealing with their Scoot Swarm is difficult. Very, very difficult. So they got three mana up right now. They could be using that for like a Harrow or a Roiling Regrowth on their next turn. Or up on my turn, I should say. Something that gets them a lot of mana. So do I feel like Tatiova or I feel like Uro right now. Do what we draw. Plain old land. This deck does have a lot of lands in it by design. Uh, we could use Tireless Tracker to try getting clues. Um, I could throw down Haka again for another scry. I like that. Let's get another scry going on. We want to do the thing that the deck does. Harmonize! They draw a bunch of cards! And at least one of those was a land. Hawk is now in 8-8. Eight, eight. They are not attacking in. I could play Tati over first since uh, we're kind of hoping for landfall. But I think I want to play Alrend this turn. We reveal. It's a land. We put it into play. Alrend! Ooh, no. I should have gone Tireless Tracker, land, then Alrend. Amy, you're always missing triggers. You silly goof. And I plan on naming Creature. Since that is, uh, other than lands, the most common thing on our deck. C-R-E-A-T-U-R-E. -E, creature. And it was an enchantment, a sorcery, and an artifact. Dang it, Alrund! Putting an orb to the bottom. Gosh, I love orbs so much. Prime time gets them two lands, which actually gets them four lands. The two from the Primeval Titan are going to be tapped, but the copies of them, assuming they're things that come in untapped anyway, will not be. Hawk, you menace you. I actually have as many lands as them, but like, they have so many more cards in hands because they didn't need to go so hard. Nykthos is legendary. They can sacrifice the one that's tapped. It will net gain them ape. Hey, excuse me. Ape? Ogla? He is monkey. Hmm. Silverback? Yeah. There's a couple different ape cards. I think it's Kogla, though. Haywire Might says, hey. Nothing that it can exile right now. They still have plenty of mana off of Nykthos, Lanor Elf. I'm taking 12. Because I oh because I cut myself off mid sentence, I gave you the word it will net gain them an ape. Well, it did, didn't it? Uh, Taddy over the menace hawk. Yeah, look, I got one of these idiots too. And a land. All my apes gone and stolen. Things happen, stuff happens, things and stuff happen. Ooh, safekeeping, another land. Um, we go to combat and look at them, and then we don't do anything. Uh, I think we're gonna choose creature again. A lot of my, like, win cons are creatures. Oh no, we hit two lands and a river's rebuke. Turn of the wild speaker. That's going to draw them 12 cards. Which they definitely needed that many cards. Probably one of those is a hoof, right? Maybe not. There's 66 whole other cards in their deck. Shaper's Sanctuary is going to draw them a card if I try to target their stuff. Uh, 
I have 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 mana if it's for creatures. Enough. They have enough mana. More if they bring up that Nykthos devotion. Number go up is better than number go down. Sounds controversial. Nissa can animate a land, and when she ults, which usually happens a turn after she comes down, she turns landfall into card draw. Ooh, they're using her to grab the scoot bug. Terrifying. There's gonna be a lot of bugs in my future, I think. By the way, a scoot swarm, each copy of it, counts towards Nykthos, which is big scary. Scute is cute. Scute is cute. I agree. This gets them two lands, which gets them two scoots. They already did play their land for a turn, but they will get two more lands when prime time attacks. Home of Legends draws them cards for Pock. They attack. They do not attack. Okay, uh, then I'm gonna crack a clue. Makes these two bigger. Oop, oop. Hey, wash away. They have to discard because they have 12 cards in hand and no reliquary tower. Jahira can get rid of Haywire Mites, Tome, or this. I don't think any of those are quite what we need. Um, I'm going to throw down the forest. It's going to get us all of our landfall triggers here, including the doubled up one from Pock, our good friend Pock. Spelunking can dig even deeper. Roaming Throne will double my elf triggers. Roman Throne. Name an elf. I know what I like, and it's elf. We spelunk. That'll bring in my lands untapped if we happen to find things off scries. Okay, Lotus Cobra. I'm going to crack open a clue. We're going to pass through. Um, again, naming creature. <gasps> it's the Rond! Ooh, portal. There's so many things happening. Grow from the ashes. That's going to get them a lot of mana. Last March to the Ents is what you suspect. Yeah, they, they're probably going to have that or similar, like, Verdant Rejuvenation. But they have plenty of mana still. Make a bigger pock than their pock? Uh, I don't think I could do that yet. But we can have an insanely long turn if we survive. They're not ulting Nissa, by the way. That's a couple of scoots, couple of bugs.
They cultivate. It's it's more lands. They they can still have an uncounterable ape and an uncounterable cat. They're gonna hit that token limit soon for all these scoot bugs. Lands decks can be fun. Absolutely. More mana. Even more, more mana. Look, look, they, they have 68 mana off of Nykthos. Worm? Okay, worm. Yes, it's a great worm. It's not an ape. I know. Okay, they go to combat. You attacking? They are, and they're getting two lands. Um, I will block this with the Pawk. My Pawk, my very special boy. They got Lair of the Hydra and a snow-covered forest. That brings them up to a bunch more. <laughs> a few. It's an amazing worm. It's pretty good. Pretty good. It gets comboed with the uh, Xenagos sometimes. Yeah, the, the game just like stuck there for a second. Like, yeah, we gotta do this. May I declare a blocker, please? May I block, please? Pass the blockers. I can block? Prime time, no more. All right, post combat, nothing happens? Okay. They're not using the haywire might on the spelunking yet. Let's see if we can win this turn. They might have all oh, this going on, but I have the potential to go through my entire deck. Thanks to uh, Elrond and Lotus Cobra and Spelunking all working in conjunction. Come on, Pac. I'm gonna need you to uh, take some game actions. Oh, Elrond, you're getting so dummy thick. Yeah, Spelunking can get taken out here. Could they might throw? No, they can't. All right, so we're going to start with the Rond. Oh, look, land. Not Grond, Rond. It's him, the Rond. Okay, so they're going for the Spelunking. We're going to Tameo Safekeeping the Spelunking. Because this is going to be getting us so much mana this turn. Reveal? Oh yeah. Untapped, baby. Just you wait until we get this Lotus Cobra down. I want to start with Elrond, because then we get more triggers. And I love Pawk is just like, I'm here too! Reveal. Ugh, Jace, who even cares? We scry. Reveal. Uh, Roaming Throne is our ring bearer. Reveal. The one ring! We're going to put on full control here uh, to put that into hand because it is more card draw, which is more fun. Depending on who you ask. Take off full control mode. Yeah, we can manage our triggers better. 
Um, it's just a matter of like how we want to. I don't think we also will need the Provisioner with the Lotus Cobra too. Uh, so I'm gonna throw it to the bottom. Who do you think will take more uh, more triggers? Them with their Scoot Swarm or me with all of this? Ah, oh, I found the hoof. Beautiful. Reveal. That was just off one creature entering the battlefield, by the way. That was all the rond. But we're gonna need more than that because they have 177 scoots. We're gonna need a really big hoof. Exclamation mark, hoof. Uh, let's go with, I have 12. It's only 160 net base damage. Hmm. Ring does buy me a turn. All right, putting full control mode on. No, I can get like every creature in my deck into play, I think. It's just gonna take some effort. Yeah, like we can also find River's Rebuke. Reveal. Time Warp, all right. That'll help. I mean, it will. That's not like a sarcastic, that'll help. That's like, no, that, that will genuinely help. All right. Galadriel, reveal! Ugh, elf. We have one extra turn card in our deck and we're gonna use it. Reveal! Ugh, Sphinx! Reveal, whatever. Bring out Nyssa. Nyssa is an elf. She gets double triggers off Roaming Throne. Not technically a land. It was a land, and it's a land that scries. We still, by the way, have those wooded foothills ready to crack. All right, we're gonna reveal again. You guys like playing solitaire? That's what this genuinely feels like. Like, okay, yeah, we're gonna draw the two, and we're gonna move it onto this. another land. Ooh, a scrying land. Oh, another land. Look at that. That's like landfall triggers. We know our opponent likes landfall triggers. Hmm. Love a good land. As I said, we can probably play pretty much everything in our deck this turn. Ah, and there's the Scoot. So the Scoot is both very good and very dangerous for us because it can kick off a uh, cycle that is impossible for us to exit, um, wherein we have a great difficulty ending our turn. to do this now so I have it Bombadil Songbadil on some of these lands by the way we may actually decline dang Alrond so thick decline Klein. Throw it to the bottom. Scoot plus hoof is the name of the game. Is anybody timing how long this turn is taken? Game actions are being taken! We still have, like, three fetches out, too. I love that this causes two scries, which causes two of these. Uh, 
Okay. One land. A giant enemy crab. Oh, it's a Hamhawks raid. Hi, guys. Welcome to torture. You love that, right? All right, so we're at hoof 12 right now. So the base damage off a of hoof for 12 is 160 damage. And this should bring me to hoof 16, which is a base of 276 damage. That will be enough. All right, so we're going to uh, decline on all of these. Also, I did just draw River's Rebuke, so like, decline, decline. We can actually win this turn. We don't have to go for the next one. Yeah. Girl, we know. Decline, decline. Space bar. Yes, but we have an extra turn. Decline, decline. Decline, decline. Blue, decline. The scry, the triggers. One, two. Decline, decline. Green mana. All that back into your hand. So I was going to wait until the next turn. Hoof them was going to work. This is way faster. Like, Pock is a one-hit kill on his own. All right, nice. GG. Yeah, we, we took game actions for uh, a couple minutes in a row. Thanks for putting up with it, Pock. Listen, I've put up with a lot of POC game actions, too. Very popular commander right now. GG. Pantalaza, Sun Favored! It's a dinosaur. Uh, we don't have anything until turn three, but we have a lot of great cards for turn three. Uh, Pantalaza, just like us, is going to be ramping, but they're going to be ramping into discovering dinosaurs. We're going to be ramping into more ramp. Because that's what we, that's what we do. We're glad real deck. We scry, we ramp. We scry, we ramp. We scry, we ramp. Arcane Signet. Sweet. Oh, there's my ramp. Um, I'm actually going to use Spelunking this turn. Draw. We're going to put a land into play. We're going to use that land to play Delighted Halfling. Uro also could have done the same, but setting up our Spelunking, so our lands all come in untapped, is really nice to have. They're at four mana now. Rampaging Raptor removes counters from things after it bonks your face. We have nothing that needs counters removed. It, it only removes from, I should say, Planeswalkers and Battles. Yes. Should I just make it obvious? I'll make it obvious. Hello, I am a Simic deck and I have a counter spell. It's not a problem. I don't have a problem. Where's the dinosaurs? like sun flavored dinosaurs not sun favored dinosaurs please don't eat the dino i don't know how big pantalaza is i think this is like a mount so it's not huge like the size of a horse i actually think it is mentioned in the story as being around the size of a horse rampaging raptor i know this is uh this is the goofy looking little guy He's doing just fine. You think it probably takes like Gator, so you gotta stew it. Hmm. You have three mana. What do you do, Dino Pants? 
Mentlaza, you there? Hello? Hello? Maybe their game crashed. It happens to all of us. With four mana, they could cast another spell. It's Topiary Stomper, which is both a dinosaur and ramp. I'm going to counter it. I don't have any scries in hand. Burrow. Let's see what I can draw here. Look for land. That is a land. Uh, I didn't play a land yet for turn, no. Doesn't really matter. They come in untapped. This will also come in untapped. And since it grabs me a six drop, it's going to grab me Primeval Titan. Prime time is prime. Premium stuff. Here comes Dino Pants. And it discovers Atsukan? Atsukan Seer, yeah! They can use this to return a dinosaur for a graveyard, and they can also just use it to ramp. I have that guy in my orbs deck. It discovers how to love itself. Galadriel's just like, wait, wait when do I get to show up? Later, sweaty. Later. When we have scries. Primeval Titan can grab me cards that do scry. Um... Remember, the lands do come in untapped here, which is kind of nice. What am I feeling? We can grab um, some fetchy lands. I'm going to grab some lands that uh, let me scry in the future. Rivendell lets me do that. And Castle Vantress lets me do that. Uh, we have to choose the tapped for them to come in untapped, which is weird, I know. And now we're gonna play Galadriel. A good turn, only a couple triggers. Watley Warrior Poet. The card also depicts Pantlaza on it. Perfect! Nice! Born Horde Dracosaur they discover into the north. More ramp. This is also great because it gets them card advantage at the start of their turn and perhaps more dinosaur tokens or treasures or both. Um. Landfall. Untapped. I want to scry. Scry pre-combat using Rivendell. I do have a legend, so we can do that. Haha! -ha! A land! We love those. We love those here. I'll reveal. Gets me more stuff for doing things and stuff and things. I'll crack it open for that landfall trigger. And also to get more stuff in the graveyard for Uro. We're currently at four. I might, like, throw Galadriel at them to be like, yes, kill her. For no reason. <laughs> Castle Vantress, we're gonna... Oh, we scry two. We find lands. I don't need two, though, so I'm gonna throw that to the bottom. I mean, it doesn't really matter because we're about to shuffle up things anyway. And that's enough of those. We go to combat and attack! with Primeval Titan, who triggers on attacks to get us more lands. We want lands that scry. Lands that scry immediately, like Temple O Mystery and Grey Havens. Perfect. Uh, we click tapped so it comes in untapped. Thank you, Spelunking. We love you, Spelunking. This is a great card, by the way, in a lot of these landsy decks. No, Gretchen, not you. Cool land. That's a land. We reveal it. What am I supposed to do with all this mana? I don't know. I don't, I don't have any use for mana. See if they uh, double block this. Then I am able to escape Uro if they do, since this is a fetch land. 
Oh, I mean, we got Hydroid Crit. You're willing to sacrifice your Bone Horde Dracosaur? Yes, please. They can also bring it back using uh, Atsugans here. Bye, Prime Time. You want some Goose Mother? Yeah, I, I love that. All right, so second main phase. We're going to crack open the Windswept Heath. Grab who cares. Uh, we are going to not pay two life. It still comes in untapped. Thank you, Spelunking. Lord the Hagfish! My goodness. Thank you so much for the sub. I hope you like Uro. <gasps> Orb! I love Orb. Orb cries every turn. Orb kills opponent. I love Orb. We're gonna throw away this. And if they mill this, we can still use it from the graveyard. And if they don't, that's a cityscape level or an eight damage to their face. Also, we scryed, which means we get to... Oh, it's Crater Hoof Behemoth. I mean, oh, it's Crater Hoof Behemoth. Amy, don't sound so disappointed that you might be able to win next turn. The Huntmaster discounts their dino spells. Can I Behemoth and Leveler? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's enough for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Yes, I can. Orb! Orb, 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 orb. Please, Antor, thank you. GG, Pantalaza. Rowan, Scion of War. You deal damage to yourself so you can discount your spells. Uh, this hand is kind of nice because it has this Elrond in it, which is one of the top cards with Galadriel. I'd love to have like a turn one or turn two play. We sort of do. We have this counter spell that we can hold up. Uh, but I want Elrond and Galadriel to help me scry through my deck. Uh, we've got this dinosaur here who can ramp too. We love that. Should be nice. I'm being asked, will I go play with the prof in the near future? Um, Tolarian Community College, I'm hoping, will invite me out for another fine bit of gameplay soon, but I do not have uh, any invites set up. Um, oh, Season of Growth does a very similar thing to Elrond. It does not get the Ring Tempts You ability, which is related to the other Galadriel ability I didn't even mention, which is if you choose a ring bearer other than Galadriel, you get to scry. It's just extra scries in a turn. Um, really, really nice, though, to set up for our turn. Do I think they'll kill Galadriel right away? Mm. Eh. Go get him, girl. We scry. Ew. <laughs> that just scries when it attacks. Who even cares about that? We reveal. Spelunkin. Gonna make our lands come in untapped. Soldier's Edict, uh, R.I.P. Galadriel. And good news, though, that means they're not playing Rowan this turn. Do you want to play that first so we can hold up more blue? We Spelunk. And we could play the Elvish Mystic, or we could hold up the counter spell to try and stop Rowan. Or instead of stopping Rowan, I could stop the things they cast after Rowan. I'll do that. We scry. It is a land. I don't think I need that. We're hoping to get lands off these guys. Ooh, a black market connection. They're going to choose to do some damage to themselves. That does all count towards Rowan's uh, discounts. Or Doug Dima discounts. Hey, Uro. I'm not feeling it. Not yet. Uro! Come on out! Sure. Some little rampies. Now we could hold that counter spell, as I mentioned before, or I could keep ramping. I don't have a problem. I just like the ramp. Okay, maybe I slightly have a problem. We have more land on top. We're good at this point. Swing in for one. Boop. 
Okay, the six. And we also have this Uro in the graveyard. We would need um, three more cards in the grave to escape it, but still a great, like, eventual threat. Also gains us life. Hi, Rowan! They did not pay the six. Which just... hurts my heart. I'm going to start with Elrond. Yes, him, the Rond. The Rond himself! There's an Arwen on top. Rex Sage. No, we're, we're gonna be going for lands. I know what I'm about. We're gonna get Elrond's second trigger. That's a fabled passage. We will choose to reveal it. It comes in untapped thanks to the spelunking. And we're gonna choose Topiary Stomper to be our ring bearer. We're gonna reveal again. It's Tamiyo Safekeeping. But now we get even more cards. That's a Rivendell. That's fantastic for what we're trying to do. Uh, we are going to choose to reveal. It comes in untapped. We are now going to scry again off the Zalfarin Void. Oh, look! A land. And we will choose to reveal. It all comes in untapped. Uh, I'm going to crack open the fabled passage to grab a blue source. Yo, Yankee Jr., thank you for the 18-month resub! I appreciate that very much. So now we are going to hold open our counter spell and also another scry. Yeah, that's... The dinosaur made out of plants is carrying the ring into Mordor. It's exactly what happened in the book. Is there a way to choose which side of Pathway enters? Not if you're playing it like this. Um, okay. So they just want to block and then have Rowan come back? That's fine with me. Unreal Chef, thank you for the sub as well! Amazon pumpkin dance, Amazon pumpkin dance, Amazon pumpkin dance. That's another card in my graveyard for Uro. If we end up using this counter spell, that'll be enough to escape Uro for uh, next turn. Yeah, you don't play the lands, you just put them into the into play. Um, which means you don't get to choose. All right, so they're going for the big old discount on Rowan. What are you casting for six reduced mana? Something with targets, it seems. A coveted prize? Okay. What you got? Nice one mana tutor. Rowan is a wizard. She is a wizard. She has one party type. This also, yes, this does add to their party count. A big score! What you digging for? Mm-hmm, more treasures. Um, all right. They're storming. Yeah, this is a Rowan storm. Makes me think they're gonna go for some tendrils, which I can't stop with a counter spell, since it storms, copies itself for each other spell cast during the turn, which is currently uh, one, two, three, four, five. I also hope that they bring back more party. Oh, uh, it's spreading insurrection. I guess that's a that's a fun storm card. I didn't even know this was an arena. So like, hey, the more you know, right? Oh, 
Okay, did they not target? Oh, you can't target your own creatures. I was wondering why they didn't give this haste. Given all the tutors, yeah. That, by the way, so far this deck has uh, tutored thrice. They got two more, so that's uh, I guess uh, the third and fourth. A bat. Listen, I'll show you the one card I have. It's counterspell. They were gonna take it out of my hand anyway. All right, y'all, take me out. Tendrils. That'll do it. We love that for them. We love that for them. I'm increasing the storm count. Sure am. I don't think it makes a difference. Yes, uh, countering the Rowan is the big thing. I don't really think the storm kiln did that much. They didn't go through that many of the treasures because they already had the big score before this came out. Come on, hit me. I'm not dead yet. The first tendrils was not lethal. Yeah, I'm actually impressed. Um, now they play a land for turn. Bitter reunion. Oh, they can use this for haste. Okay, I was wondering when they were going to give this haste. Yeah, this is more stormy than my Rowan deck. But that's fun. Yeah, uh, red has lots of great storm cards. Black has a couple good storm cards, too. And discounting all your cards in turn. Easy way to do it. Wait, why are they grape shotting instead of just going for haste? I guess to show me how much damage they can do. No, this is less damage. Aw. Yeah, they should target they should target themselves a little bit. Hot grapes. Hot grapes. Hot grapes. Hot grapes. You put them in the microwave, you heat them up, you cause a plasma storm. It's just what they do. TG Rowan. Scion of war. Samut, voice of descent. This is the original Samut, the Naya Samut, that goes fast, gives other creatures gotta go fast, and can untap things, which is good with a couple of, like, mana dorks that can generate a lot of mana each time they tap. Pretty nice. One elf on turn one means I can ramp. Boop. Galadriel. Turn one ramp is very nice to have in green. Don't we all know it? Ooh, they also have some landfall ramp here. Hello, Lotus Cobra. Uh, if I'm feeling greedy, we can get out the Roaming Throne here. And I am feeling greedy. If we're going to play Roaming Throne, we're going to name Elf. And this is instead of casting uh, the Scrying card this turn. Always be roaming and always be thrown in. This might be my recent pet card. I'm just like, I'm just shoving this in every single one of my decks. It's in the Garuda deck. It's in the Galadriel deck. It's in with dinosaurs. It's in with everything. Everything gets to have a roaming throne. <gasps> no! Punished for my greed, Galadriel perishes. It's okay, we'll bring her back. a matter of when. Oh, get him, Galadriel. Oh, that's a Zakama on top of the deck. Hey. It's 
just roaming through my decks. I just want all my commanders to have comfy chairs to sit in. Linvala is going to stop the activated abilities, um, such as tapping the Llanowar Elf for mana. How dare you? Seriously, how dare you? Linvala, that's so rude. So rude. Uh, let's go ahead and use the Signet. And the orb! This is going to get me a scry in each of my end steps. I love the orb. Put the orb in every deck, too. Um, if they mill, that's fine. If they um, have me draw, also fine. We're scrying two to the top because no matter what, the second card will be this, which means we can reveal and put it into play. Uh, we can also reveal again. Oh, we got lucky. It was a flooded strand. It's a cat and sisse. I wonder if this is a Legends deck. Samut Legends is definitely a thing that could exist. And giving something like this haste is pretty good, too. Samut's giving all these bad boys haste. Just Linvala swinging in, though. Samut does have Double Strike and Vigilance, but they don't want to trade it with a Roaming Throne, I think. land will come in tapped. I'm a little worried about um, Sisse. I'm going to use Joint Exploration, not kicked. Just, just regular old Joint Exploration. Exploring that joint. Uh, we want to draw the Seagate Restoration, since it cannot be put into play by Galadriel. Go ahead and give that a Fine, hearty reveal, and then we get it again. Thank you, Roaming Throne. Oh my god, we hit double lands again. Just always have it, huh? Maze Mine Tome. I will scry. It's a land! Gosh, we're so good at this. Reveal. And then again, reveal? We do have a shuffle off this. All right, so there's a tail's end on top of the deck. Um, I'm not cracking this open yet. We're going to go to combat. We are going to do nothing. We are going to go to the end step. And the orb is going to allow me to scry. Um, I'm putting one to the bottom. Hmm, wonder what it is. Keeping Nissa on top. Do you mill or draw? I went for the mill. Now we get to double reveal. Reveal! That's ah, Crater Hoof Behemoth. That's not exactly something I want to uh, throw away since. Hoof, good. When they go to play Captain Sisse, I'm planning on bouncing Samut back into hand. Abro Elder, cute. They're cracking open the windswept heath that will shuffle their cards and get them another land, which means another land fall. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, and this will be seven, eight mana. That is not enough for Zakama. Zakama costs nine. Cool Lotus Cobra art. Yeah, this, this alt art is great. Time for Captain Sisse, and time for me to throw some mud back into hand. This way, Sisse does not have haste. If they use the Plaza of Heroes for the Hexproof there, uh, they can still activate her, but they won't have any mana to use. July gives them Hexproof. Because it ain't no lie, baby, shut a lie. I'm not a dork. I'm going to lead with some card draw here. I have plenty of mana. I can play a hoof. We're going to crack open these here fetchy betchies. Don't mind me grabbing basics. We could go for a big hydroid crisis this turn. But hoof! Huh, there it is. We attack with everyone!
Does the stream title mean that I'm previewing a card? Sure am. Why does Samut not just say creatures you control have haste? I'm not sure. So she would give herself haste if that was the case. Boop, boop, bonk, bonk. They could have stayed alive by blocking a little more, but they chose not to, and that's going to be game death by hoof. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Brawl Stars. I hope you liked me taking obscene numbers of triggers with Galadriel. I actually um, have had some games where, thanks to Galadriel and her friends um, Elrond and also uh, Season of Growth, you just kind of keep going and you just have to force yourself to end the turn because otherwise the timer is going to run out and you're going to be forced to the next turn anyway. Uh, if you like this video, please let me know in the comments. And if you're looking for the decklist, it's in the description of the video below. If there's a commander you'd like to see me build or play or update, let me know. I actually have a small list built up here of ones that people have suggested in the comments, like uh, an update to Radic or maybe building Yuri. I actually updated Ishin already. I'm still working on tweaking that so I can record a video. We also had a request for Prosper and Chatterfang. So if there is a commander you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and have a brutal day.